going to do is we're going to push this on there until it clicks. You're going to squeeze the trigger and then this gets locked in place. The propane tank you see behind me is the culmination of almost two years of tireless work by staff of North Penn. And today, out of all the meetings, research, planning, and grant proposals have come to fruition. I like numbers, especially this math equation. And this math adds up. More savings plus an environmentally clean and safe operation equals a win-win for the North Penn students and community. What really cinched it for me was when we got the reports from the drivers that they were so much happier inside of that propane bus uh, because it was so much quieter. They didn't go home feeling like they were listening to this loud noise um, you know, for all of their runs. They could hear the students. They could manage the student behavior. And being able to go home at the end of the day and not feeling like you were just in this loud environment for such a long period of time is huge. It's so quiet. It's much more quiet. So replacing some of our older diesel buses with these clean energy buses really spoke to the board's vision. From paying fuel costs a fraction of what the diesel fuel costs, and the maintenance costs are also much lower. For every dollar that we can save with these kind of things, then we can push back into the classroom because that is our ultimate mission here. You're the leaders that people look at. Yeah, it's trickled along, but now with North Penn being part of this, I believe it's going to even get better. This is being replicated over and over again at school districts across the country. Not only the economic benefits of running the buses, but the economic benefits of maintaining the buses. That enables school districts like North Penn to spend more of their funding on their core mission of education and less on transportation. <laughs>